All right, the next thing that we're going to do is cryo stretch. Cryo is cold and then stretch. And uh, this is best used for acute muscular or tendon injur injuries. So today our scenario is going to be that she has uh, strained her hamstring muscle. So um, the equipment that we're going to need is um, our uh, patient chart. We're going to need our clock, um, a towel uh, for the excess water, and obviously uh, an ice cup uh, frozen. Uh, and for this demonstration, we are going to use uh, the ice cup in a paper cup rather than plastic cup or uh, any, any other forms of ice. You can also use a straight ice cube if you wanted to. Um, the key thing is that you're going to be applying uh, ice massage. So this, uh, one of the key, also the key things that you need to remember in this is that uh, pain needs to be used as their guide. So after we uh, inspect the area uh, to see it, uh, how severe it is to make sure that there's an indication for the uh, ice uh, massage. Then we would um, also see the side and, and also make sure that she doesn't have any contraindications such as an allergic reaction to ice and, and others. Um, so, and we would have also looked on the chart to make sure that might have been indicated for her treatment. Uh, after we have the ice cup, um, we're going to um, make sure that we have a towel to catch the excess water. So we're going to put this under her leg. Okay, go ahead and drop it. And with the ice cup, you notice that when we filled it, we filled, uh, filled this up last night or a couple days ago. Uh, this is just a little paper cup. Uh, we filled it up about a quarter inch from the top. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to rip that about a half inch or so off the, around the top because we want to be able to grip the, the bottom part of the ice cup so it's not too cold on our hands. Now the other thing is with the ice cups it may be a little sharp or there might be some uneven areas uh, and the, some of the best ways to smoothen that out you can use the lid of a hot hydroculator unit. Um, or you can simply just use uh, the palm of your hand. Again, just making sure that there's no rough edges um, and that it's ready to be placed on, on the patient. And then also uh, let the patient know that if at any time she does notice it, um, any rough areas, um, to let you know. So, and that should be good to go. The next thing, also, you want to make sure that you, t you tell the patient, you know, when you're going to apply the ice so that she, she doesn't uh, get scared or frightened from the... Or uh, from a cold. So, are you ready? Ready. Okay. So, when we apply the ice, again, this is a massaging effect. You can use uh, overlapping circles technique over the whole area. Small overlapping circles. You can reverse your direction. You can also use overlapping horizontal and vertical um, strokes. Again, because of the massage, you do want to apply some pressure, but not too much pressure that you're uh, causing pain. Okay? You do this for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes, again, depending on the size of the area. Smaller body parts, you might do it closer to 10 to 15 minutes. At the end of the, the ice, again, constantly talk, ask, talk to her, see if the, she has any problems with it. At the end of the ice massage and, and if you need, if, if the cup starts to rub against her, all you need to do is just peel, take it off and peel back some, some of the cup and dispose of it later. Because sometimes that could, could cut into her as well. So after the 15 to 20 minute ice massage treatment, when you're done, again you want to inspect the area for any signs or symptoms of um, irritation and dry the area. Make sure that the area is dried. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this. And then we're going to do our stretch part. Uh, so I'm going to have her flip over. And we're when we're doing the, the stretch, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have her as passive as possible. Okay, 
So and if she's not passive, you can always test it by dropping it. And then I'm going to, again, she's going to let me do the movement and she's going to tell me when to stop. 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 Okay. At that point, you're going to hold it for about 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds. Seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then she's going to do an isometric contraction. So she's going to push against me as hard as possible for five to six seconds. Three, four, five. Okay, then she's going to relax for about 10 seconds. And then at the end of the 10 seconds, then we're going to go back up in a passive stretch again. And hopefully you should go a little bit further. She's going to tell you when to stop. Stop. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now the tighter she is, the longer you can hold it. 15. And then you want to do an isometric contraction again. Again, you may need to brace yourself. You can use your whole body if you need to for larger people. Bigger muscles can push as hard as you can. Hard, hard, hard for five seconds. And then relax for 10 seconds. And again, you're using pain as your guide. And then after 10 seconds, we'll stretch her one more time. And again, we should be going a little bit further each time. Make sure she tells us when to stop. Stop. Okay, and then you stop there. Hold it for 20, 15 to 20 seconds. And then after that, then you're gonna have her isometric contract. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Push, 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 push. Relax. Okay? And you can do this again anywhere between uh, three to six times, depending on how tight it is. You might need to do it bilaterally if you need to. Um, and then she should be ready to go back, back to her sport or give her home instructions. Uh, make sure you record the, the treatment on the patient's chart and schedule up uh, an appointment for the next treatment. Uh, also, when you're done, you want to make sure that you dispose of any trash from the ice. Uh, you don't want to put the ice back in the uh, freezer uh, for someone else to use. You want to make sure that you dispose of it in the sink or uh, the, the whirlpool. And then um, for make sure you throw uh, your towels in the laundry and any trash that you have uh, in the trash can. And that is it for the cryo stretch.